I moved up here as a fly fishing god that got taken on a run, and after that I asked for a job. Now it's close to 10 years later, I've been racing for close to seven. It doesn't look like I'm going anywhere. We are mainly a Siberian kennel. We are one of the largest Siberian kennels in the United States. We have close to 150 dogs. The Siberian Husky is one of the tougher breeds. They don't take as much food, they're tougher. Every morning I show up, I choose two teams of eight. Everybody works every day unless they're a puppy or they're retired. We're one of the few places where the customer drives the sled. Uh, many of the places are the guides on the sled with you. So uh, it's a pretty wild experience for some of the customers. We got some expert terrain to where we got terrain for the littlest kid to drive. I'm mainly a sprint racer. I do anything under 20 miles. So I do a lot of 10 mile races, even six mile races. Uh, that's just what's in my area. I, I have 10 dogs of my own. I race with them. The more I did it, the more I wanted to get my own dogs that didn't run tours, the more I wanted to drive them other places to run and run new trails. Passing another team is you get some adrenaline going. It's fun. About two years ago, I was training my race team on my ATV. Uh, without an engine, I slid off the road. Uh, I broke nine ribs and punctured my lung. I'm still here and still mushing. I will always be a musher. Uh, once I got 10 dogs, I know I'm, I'm with them for 10 years pushing. So uh, I will always be more and hopefully I have my own kennel and eventually my own scene grows. I would like to be more of a racer and have more like 30 dogs. <laughs> That's a lot of food. <laughs>